Hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars set review. Today we have a brand new set from a brand new collection for LEGO Star Wars called the Diorama Collection. The first one I'm reviewing here is the Death Star Trench Run. The set number is 75329. It's going to come with 665 pieces. This is an 18 plus set and it's gonna run $60, and there is no minifigures included, unlike the other two Diorama Collection sets that are also launching on the exact same date as this one, which is the Yoda's Hut, as well as the Death Star Trash Compactor. Both of those include uh, exclusive and new minifigures, whereas this one is not coming with any minifigures, and so that $60 price tag for 600-ish pieces is a pretty big pill to swallow. So we're gonna find out whether this set is worth that $60 price tag. I gotta imagine it probably isn't, but I do wanna give this set the benefit of the doubt. I also wanna thank LEGO for providing this set for review. Now, before we get into the end depth, I do also just wanna show the back of the box. It does show some scenes of the trench run, very iconic scene from A New Hope. You can see a different angle of the set as well. Now on the side of the box, it does say Diorama Collection here. So it's printed, it's, it's official. It's called the Diorama Collection. So if anybody was confused by that, but then we also have a picture of the set. Now, if you have all three Diorama Collection sets, when you put the boxes together, it actually uh, looks very nice together. I don't know if that was intentional or not from Lego, but it looks really good. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the end depth of the set. So now diving in literally into the trench run, as you can see, it is a solid set, but let's talk about that plaque in the front. First off, we have a two by four Lego Star Wars printed tile and a two by six tile that says the force is strong with this one from Darth Vader. So a very iconic quote. Now moving on to the diorama because there are no minifigures with this set. I do have to say there is a lot of cool different viewpoints simply by just turning the set around and looking at it in different ways. So I do really like that about the set. Now if you take the TIE Fighters and the X-Wing off of the trench run, this is what you're left with. A lot of greebling in both light gray and dark gray. The techniques used here are very satisfying as a LEGO Star Wars mock builder. I was very impressed. There's things I wouldn't have even thought of doing myself here. So if you're into greebling, I think you will enjoy this set. If you're not, then you may not enjoy this part. It's a pretty significant part of the build, uh, but it isn't bad. Moving on to the vehicles, of course, we have Luke Skywalker's Red 5 X-Wing. And what really makes it special is that one by one printed piece of R2-D2's head. So I like that. It's a nice little detail. The X-Wing wings don't actually move it really at all. Now moving on to Darth Vader's TIE Advanced, a very simple build, but also has a printed one by one piece with some green lightsaber blades acting as cannons for the ship. So I like with what Lego's done here. It's the same case with the actual regular TIE Fighters, again, using green lightsaber blades to act as cannons. And then as you can see, that's what it looks like on the back of the TIE Fighter, and there's two of them. There's really no playability with this set, but there is a cannon that you can adjust however you want, and you do see these rotating cannons on the trench run, so that makes sense. Something odd is that there's this one-by-one -one trans blue piece that holds up the X-Wing. I don't know why that's there. I don't know why that isn't trans clear. Uh, another thing worth pointing out is that you can actually adjust the X-Wing so it's not at an angle, but instead going upwards as if Luke had just done his bombing run is going to pull out of the trench. So I also like that you can at least customize that. So is the Death Star trench run worth $60? Personally, I'd have to say no. If it did include minifigures, I think that would help the price tag quite a bit. I think getting like a Darth Vader with the arm printing that we've gotten in previous sets, as well as a Luke Skywalker minifigure to display alongside this would have been great. You could have hid them here on the back side like they did in the Death Star trash compactor, or you could have a separate stand, or you could just put them right next to it. I don't know, but I think minifigures should have been included in this set because it's very strange that the other two sets launching with this wave do include minifigures. And granted, those are more expensive sets, but I'd much rather pay a higher price tag for a bigger set with more pieces and exclusive minifigures. I think a lot of you would probably agree with that. However, I do have to say that set is good. It's not a bad set. So if you are interested in this, I think it is worth picking up at some point, maybe not at that full retail price of $60. If you can 
you know, use your VIP points. I don't know if these sets are gonna be exclusive to lego.com or whether you can go to Target or Walmart or wherever your local store is to pick these up. At the moment, I do believe they're gonna be exclusive to some stores and not every single one is gonna carry these like the helmet collection. So my final opinion is that if you can get this set less than $60, I would say it's a, it's a good pickup. It looks really nice alongside the other Diorama collection set. It's obviously a very iconic scene. I like the builds of the TIE Fighters. I like the X-Wing build. Those are all cool. I like the, this turret. The Greebling, the techniques used here are very satisfying to a LEGO Star Wars fan. And if you can find this set really cheap, like, you know, $40 or something, this is actually a really good set that I would recommend to actual builders. Now, myself who builds dioramas, I really think this is a great set if you wanna build you know, some type of starship or you're working on a Death Star scene. Like there's so much potential here just to use these parts for something else for your own builds and your own mock. That's what I also really like about this set. There's not many Lego Star Wars sets that are uh, available to consumers that have this much like greebling pieces and this much potential for mock building in the Lego Star Wars. So I really recommend this set. If you can get it at like some type of discount, it's a really good set for parts. So on that note, I really like the set. I just don't think it's worth that $60 price tag. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Will you be picking this up? Are you gonna pick up any of the other Diorama Collection sets that are releasing again on April 26th? I'll leave a link down below to lego.com. It's affiliated and helps out the channel to this set if you wanna purchase it. I believe they'll have pre-orders, I'm not sure, uh, but you can take a look obviously at the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out all my other LEGO Star Wars reviews. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day and I'll see you guys later, bye-bye.